Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, Jack and I are going to be talking about some of our favorite places in Salem to go clothes shopping. Just to preface, this video isn't going to be about clothing, like souvenir t-shirts or anything that say like Salem, because there's about a thousand different options you can get in Salem if you're just looking for little memorabilia shirts and stuff. This is going to be about like goth fashion and different types of clothing you could get if you like that more alternative gothic clothing style. I'm just going to start the video off with one that I'm super excited about that I went to for the first time today because they just opened this month, earlier this month in August, and that is Black Craft. So if any of you have ever heard of Black Craft, it's a pretty well-known alternative brand. Typically they are known for their different t-shirts that have various sayings on it that sometimes are a little, I don't know, I guess like pushing the envelope and they could be looked at as like, oh my God, what are you wearing? And kind of like turning heads, if that makes sense, with some of the things that they have on their shirts. For example, if you've ever seen those um, shirts that are just like, um, Satan is my daddy or something, those are originally Black Craft ones. I remember when I first heard of Black Craft, they typically were just the shirts. That's kind of what they were known for. And then some other kind of smaller, just clothing items, nothing like crazy big in terms of like, fashion it was like t-shirts or then they have a couple other like sprinkled fashion items in but it wasn't what it is today today black craft is definitely one of the larger kind of dark alternative brands and they have expanded completely in terms of like things that they offer for home decor they have a lot of like bedroom items so like blankets and whole bed sets they have like more shoes available now that's a really big thing as well as like handbags and stuff so they super expanded on just about everything that they could in terms of like clothing and starting to branch into home decor they also have some stuff for dogs like a little dog collection so they offer a lot of stuff now oh also bathing suits they have bathing suits now as well so as you can see there's a lot that you can get from black craft they are pretty well known online at least they also have a warehouse out in california but they like i said earlier this month just opened a shop in salem it really is such a stunning space that they have it was an old bank at one point so you could kind of tell just based off of like the architecture that it was a really old building at one point um, but as you can see, I'm inserting some videos from when I went earlier today. They spray painted and like just painted the entire thing from wall to ceiling to everything black. They have some accent lighting in there that is red. So the ceiling where they have this incredible like 3D printed looking witch, like it's this huge sculpture of a witch on a broom. They also have like the red lighting um, on the ceiling and then uplit from the sides to accent certain areas. It's a massive space. I heard online somewhere that they're paying $12,000 a month just in rent alone for this space, which is pretty insane when you think of how much that adds to in a year. So it's a massive space. They have a ton of room to expand and continue to grow. Um, I noticed that they set it up super nice to begin with, but you can tell that they're going to continue to add things as they are in the space a little bit longer. But I really enjoyed seeing all the things they have and how they kind of separate it because they had their own area for like the bed and they had a whole bed set up with like the pillows and blankets on the sides. like. It was a really nice presentation of that. I'm just looking at some of these pictures again and you'll see that they have like the old bank vaults as well. They might have some ideas in the future for how to use them. As of right now, they're not being utilized except to just show the cool fact that it used to be a bank, which I think is pretty awesome. Oh my God, one part that was so cute, it had a whole little section for just like the pastel colored items that they have. So of course they have a lot of black. It's called Black Craft Cult. That's the name of the brand. There has a ton of black but they also have a little section of pastel things. So if you are a pastel goth, if you like that aesthetic, they have a whole section just for pastel things, which I think was really, really awesome. In general, this is the biggest store in Salem. Like if you're not counting like a museum or anything like that, if we're just going strictly by stores, like a retail store, this is the biggest store in Salem that we have. It is massive the ceilings are huge just the floor plan itself is huge it's a big space before this one of the other places on my list that i'm going to talk about was probably the biggest retail store in salem but this new black craft store has completely blown anything else out of the water it's insane how big this store is um, they're definitely going to have a lot of room for expansion so i'm excited to see that if you're coming up to salem i highly highly recommend visiting this store just to see it because it is a massive store it's kind of incredible that this exists in salem just because we're such a small little city so it's really cool to see it's a little hard to know where it is though i will say um i knew where it was because i just knew where the old bank was 
um, but there is just a little like fold up sign out front as of right now. I'm not sure if they're planning on adding like a sign that goes out a little bit farther. I'm sure they might. We, they literally just opened earlier this month in August, so they're just starting. Um, but if you weren't sure it was there, you might not see it just because it does have that little fold up sign and that's it. It is across the street from like where Hex is um, next to Gulu Gulu Cafe. If you go like a couple doors over, you'll see the entrance to it. So that's just one thing if you're going to see. It is on Essex Street. Um, and it's next to Gulu Gulu Cafe. The next place I'm going to talk about on my list is actually right across from Black Craft, a little bit down further towards the main part of Essex Street, and that is Vamp Fangs. We went today from Black Craft to Vamp Fangs, and it was so funny to see like the stark difference and just like the size. It really like put into perspective how massive that store is for Salem because all the other stores are a small size. It's a really small city for the most part so it's just really funny how tiny it felt going into vamp things afterwards but i really love the way that they set up this store um aesthetically it's really nice i didn't take a picture or a video of this and i wish i had but there was a couple people over in that area and i didn't want to film them but they have a really nice chair in there that you can use to like take pictures in or just sit in and they always have incense going in there so it smells really nice there is a brand called Dark Alchemy that they have that I really like. One thing I saw that was new there were they're a very specific type of heel. I haven't seen a style like this. It's very like vampire-esque, which really fits the vibe of vamp fangs. And then they have a part in the middle where it's just kind of miscellaneous things. They've had sunglasses, they'll have journals, different like notebooks and stuff like that. Um, some artwork also in the center. They seem to have a good kind of range of things in there that you can shop from. They have a section that is sterling silver jewelry. So if you're looking for rings or pendants or something, they have a nice little area of that. They also have some perfumes that they get made for just their store. I just wanted to grab it to show you because I actually have one of their perfumes. Their perfume oil, so the scent is distributed in oil form. You just kind of like take it go like this and then dab it on your pulse points. I have the number one, which is Immortal, and this is such a good smelling perfume. Like, I love wearing this. I'll wear this a lot. Like, when I'm getting into bed, I know it sounds kind of silly, but I like wearing perfume all the time. I have a whole little, like, side mission here on YouTube where sometimes I'll do videos about fragrance. I do have some fragrance videos up on my channel. Uh, I've never talked about this one. I totally recommend their perfume, specifically this one. It was between this one and a different one. I think they have about 13. Um, different scents, but the number one is amazing. It's so cute. They actually come in a little coffin, which is really funny because I actually make press on nails. I don't think I've ever talked about that before, but I make press on nails and I've sold them before at different like conventions that my boyfriend and I work at because we go for his brand and I'll bring my nails to sell. Um, and I actually put my nails in coffins. The whole kind of point of my brand is that they're called nails in your coffin and they're press on nails in a little coffin shape. So I thought that was really funny. They put their little fragrances in coffins too. So I wonder where they get their boxes from because I just get mine off of Etsy. It's kind of expensive. So that is Bamp Fangs. The next store I'm going to talk about is one that I've mentioned in a previous Things to Do in Salem video. I will link that in the I or down below somewhere. Um, and that is Die With Your Boots On. Why did I say it like that? <laughs> they used to be down by the wharf. Um, I'm not too sure if that location is there anymore now that I'm thinking about it. Let me look that up actually. Okay, this is super new to me. So <laughs> I was just looking on to see if they still had the location down at the wharf because originally that was the first location they had. It was off of Derby Street at like Pickering Wharf. So that was their original location. And it looks like they just changed the name of it and it's kind of its own entity now. Like they're having a second location, but it has different merchandise and goes with a different name, if that makes sense. It's still on their website, like linked, but it's a separate tab, if that makes sense. And it's called the Ossuary. And I'm sorry if I'm butchering that. I don't even know what an Ossuary is. Am I stupid? Like, have you guys ever heard that word before? A container or room in which the bones of dead people are placed. Ossuary. Ossuary. <laughs> sorry, I'm literally trying to learn this right now. Okay, I've never heard of that word before. I'm sorry if that makes me seem stupid, but it's called the Ossuary. Ossuary? So that's what they turned the store down at the wharf into. It's a different thing. Um, I haven't been there, so I won't talk about that much, but they opened up their 
other location, their larger location on Church Street, which is essentially like parallel to Essex Street. But this is the best store in terms of like fashion period. Like this is the best clothing store in Salem. This is the store I was talking about that used to be the largest, but Blackcraft then took the number one spot for largest. This is a really big location. It used to be a church. Literally, they took over an old church. It's not like a church, like what you're thinking of, like a really old, like freestanding church. It's a church that was inside a mall. So if, if that like gives you any idea of kind of what it looks like, but they made it into a really, really nice space. They have a stage when the store is just operating as a store. They have mannequins up on there wearing the clothes that are being sold, which is really cool. And they added this really cool mural along the back. Um, it came out really nice. They leave the lights on at night, all those neon pink lights. So it definitely catches your attention. Um, and it has the most amazing selection of clothing in Salem just for literally anybody. Like it's super inclusive there. I feel like in terms of the options that they have, um, has a little bit for anybody. And their shoe wall, as you can imagine, is insane. They have so many boots, so many sandals, so many heels, any type of shoe you can imagine that's like a gothic shoe. And it's great because it's hard to find like alternative fashion items. So being able to go somewhere where that's literally what they do, that is all they do. It is a wonderful spot to be able to get boots and try them on in person, especially if it's like a demonia boot. Those are really expensive shoes. You wanna make sure that you're gonna like them. And they have a ton of different varieties and you could try them on in store. And I do notice that they change their styles a lot. Always new things to buy or fresh things to see. It's just really nice that their inventory is always changing. Now, I'm not sure if you guys know the brand Foxblood. I follow them on Instagram and I really like their clothing. Die With Your Boots On actually carries that brand, which is really nice to be able to see it represented at a store near me. Like I said, obviously Demonia also has their boots sold there, which again is really cool because I don't see those in literally any other store that I've been to in person. So it's really nice to be able to see things in person sometimes when you're shopping rather than just ordering it online all the time. If you're visiting Salem, definitely let me know. I'm going to be making more Salem content. Drop some comments down below if there's anything you want a video specifically on. Um, my next video I'm going to be doing is going to be vegan and vegetarian food options. So if you're wanting to see that, definitely click the subscribe button and turn your notifications on to stay updated for all my Salem content. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.